look familiar? Leaky jowls. And we all know that this will take more than one round of reassembly to fix. Well, we've collected six tips that will save you from spending half of your day fighting a cursed gel assembly. Tip number one, make sure the glass plates you're using are clean and unchipped. Tip two, assemble your gel plates on a hard surface, not on bench paper. Tip three, you can use parafilm or even Vaseline and put a thin layer on the bottom of the gasket. And then remember, these are made of rubber, not steel, so they need to be replaced every once in a while. Now before you pour your gel, use deionized water into the sandwich to make sure that there's no leaks. And once you're convinced that it's watertight, use filter paper to wick out any excess water. Now, to make sure your gel polymerizes quickly, make fresh APS solution every day. A little annoying, yes, but those five minutes will save you hours of futzing around with leaky gels. And number six, replace Temed every three months. It's subject to oxidation, which reduces its catalytic activity. Now, if you follow these simple tips, you should never have to fight a leaky gel again. Send us your tips and tricks to labnotes at biorad.com and next time you see a lab mate tearing out their hair over a gel that just won't seal, send them to Biorad Life Science YouTube channel for advice.